Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create a helix and a spiral curve in SOLIDWORKS. To create a curve, select the features tab and here select the helix or spiral. And now it asks me to draw a circle. So I'm going to select the front plane and here I'm going to go to the sketch tab and then I'm going to draw a circle with a diameter value of 50. And then exit from the sketch. And now you see that helix curve is drawn. And here I have four options. And first let me explain the pitch under revolution option. You can also create a constant or variable pitch. You can adjust the value of the pitch or else change the revolutions. Let me change this to 10 revolutions. And let me change this pitch value as 25 such that its length is decreased. And you can also change the start angle of it. For example, let me zoom this one. And here, instead of 180 degree, I'm going to enter an angle of 90 degree. And now you see that the start angle position gets changed. You can also flip this as a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction. And at the bottom, I have an option called the taper helix. For example, let me enter an angle of 45 degree such that my helical curve is created at a taper angle of 45 degree. So if I don't want this, just uncheck this taper helix option. And now it looks fine. And let me explain how to create a variable pitch. Select the variable pitch. And here I have three options, pitch, revolution and height. In the pitch option, let me change this 50. And in the revolution option, let me change this as 12 revolutions. And also let me change the diameter value as 100. And to add the additional pitch, select this one. And here I'm going to enter a pitch value of 100 and with a revolution of 12. And the height and the diameter are automatically created. Let me change this diameter as 10. And now my helix curve is created. And then give a check mark to it. And with this use of the helix curve, you can create a swept boss. Before that, let me create a reference plane. And then select this curve here. And holding down the control key, select this point. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to draw a circle on this newly created plane. Select the circle and let me draw a circle whose value of 17. And then exit from the sketcher and then go to the features tab and then select the swift boss. And first I'm going to select this as a profile and this as my path. And then give a check mark to it. And now my swift boss is created. So by this way, you can create a helix curve by using the pitch and revolution option. Let me explain what are the other ways of creating this. Let me delete this all. And I'm going to edit this one. And I have explained the pitch and revolution option. The next is the height and revolution option. If I select this, I have an additional value called the height. You can increase the height such that its length becomes bigger. Also, you can create a variable pitch using this option. And the third type is the height and pitch option. This is also similar, but the revolutions will be missing in the parameter step. Instead of it, both height and pitch value are given. So, by increasing this, the revolution is automatically created based upon the height and pitch value you have provided. Here also you can create a variable pitch by entering the height and pitch revolution and diameter. And the final type I'm going to explain is the spiral type. And now you see that my spiral goes is created and here also you can increase the pitch value. Let me select this up arrow key and such that my pitch value gets increased and also my spiral curve gets enlarged. 
and you can also increase the revolution and also you can change the start angle of it and in addition to that you have a clockwise or counterclockwise option to flip the direction of the spiral curve so here also we can create a swept boss for that go to the reference geometry and then select plane and here select this curve here and holding on the control key select the point and then give a check mark to it and now i'm going to select the sketch and here I'm going to draw a circle with some smaller diameter value and then click on the exit sketch and in the features tab I'm going to select the swept boss select the profile and the path and now your swept boss is created the helix and spiral curve can also be used to create a swept cutter also so this is how you create a helix and spiral curve in SOLIDWORKS for more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching. Also, check out the link in the description box below for more information.